We'll start off by taking a quick look at the Maya Hotkey Editor. The Hotkey Editor. Inside of Maya is really easy to find. If you go to the Window menu, you can go down to Settings and Preferences and pull it up by executing the Hotkey Editor. So it's laid out very nicely and organized in a way that not only helps you find the hotkey over to the right, you can just query a particular key, say Q, and hit the Query button. It tells you what that is assigned to. But then it helps you in finding the command that you might want to use. So all of the different c categories uh, of commands are listed over on the left side here. So you can see skin and skeleton. These all pertain to the different menu sets that I showed you earlier that you can turn off and on. So for something like display, I know that I might want to turn the grid on and off with a hotkey. So I can scroll down here and I can look at all the different types of displays. I know that the grid is a toggle and so there's my toggle command listed down below for me. If it's a Python command I can easily access that as well. But for now uh, I'm going to find a key that will work for me. Now that's another problem. What keys are not listed or not used currently? Uh, well Maya has a nice way of listing all the keys that are associated with uh, a, a command and lists also the unmapped one. So you can see over to the right uh, I can see unmapped with no modifiers. I can see those with control keys. I can find ones with alt keys and I can also list all of them similar to the slide that I showed you earlier. So if I go back to no modifiers I'm just going to take the top one here which is shift K or capital K and if I click on query sure enough it's assigned to nothing and now all I have to do is assign that to that command. You can see now it's assigned to toggle grid from display when I close this out and hit my shift K button, you can say I can now toggle my grid on and off. So it's that easy to assign a new hotkey, uh, but what we're going to do in this presentation is focus on the ones that are already assigned. So now that you know how to assign your own, let's stick to the ones that are already useful and built into Maya.